Hello, this is a video showing the French polishing of a Steinway Grand Piano made in 1910. The piano has been refinished and the original rosewood veneer has been covered over and uh, I'm going to show you a video in a minute of the piano as it's going through different processes of French polishing. As you can see here, uh, it's been covered over the veneer and uh, there, I don't know what's happened there but uh, it's got quite damaged really. Uh, the client bought it before it was French polished and we explained that if it was French polished this, this sort of gr um, lined grain will go and you'll see the original veneer. So he was keen to get that done, although he's uh, bought it for musical purposes, he, uh, in other words he's a, actually a piano teacher, uh, he did want the piano to be redone which we're really grateful for because we knew that it would have a wonderful veneer underneath so we're not quite sure why it's covered over as i'll be talking uh, when it's in the polishing room in a minute this is before it came to the polishing room this is in the polishing room and now we'll listen to the video i've made of it in front of the piano now the piano's been stripped and uh, just still a little bit of, of uh, preparing the surface to do before we can polish it but uh, you can see that the grain is coming out here very beautiful so we're never quite sure why they put the fake grain on um, on top of the grain because it's such a beautiful finish um, it's perplexing really and uh, it's still as you see a bit patchy here which is uh, obviously going to really rub down going around the whole piano we can see that there's a consistently beautiful rosewood grain which uh, of course we've said many times before how beautiful rosewood is and repolishing rosewood pianos is always successful. So the polish has all been applied I think almost completely um, and it will now need cutting back and, and antique waxing because we don't want too much reflection otherwise so you can't see the grain so well. You can see the grain pretty well here can't you? Let's uh, just have a look at some other parts of it. This is the top lid which uh, that's the underside of the top lid but you can see the grain is uh, very pretty it's a uh, typical rosewood really and there's the fall let's have a look at the grain on the fall um, so again lots of contrast in the grain and looking very special I think and there's the Steinway inlaid wood actually some Steinways have inlaid wood and there's the grain on the far side of the piano again very special really now this piano has been sold but we can obviously either repolish a piano for you or uh, repolish your own pianos. This was sold before it was repolished and the client decided it was worth doing um, so certainly we would uh, encourage French polishing especially on rosewood pianos. We've now completed the polishing on the piano so let's just have a look all the way around it to see what kind of results have been achieved and we did show you this before but it won't look a lot different but it feels different it's, it's smoother and there's less reflective than it was before the idea is not to get too much reflection um, so that you don't you see the actual grain of the wood rather than the reflection and um, we can obviously do it brighter if you want to let's look all the way around the side so here's the back of the piano just coming round to the other side you can see the reflection it stops you from seeing the grain but I'm going to try and show it up, up on the you see the contrast that rosewood has and um, we like to do the color as light as we can so that the uh, the lightest color I mean as light as we can so that we get as much contrast as possible with the grain and looks stunning I believe and the polish is really keen to do rosewood because it always comes out so beautifully so that's right around the long side of the piano right to the end now this is the top lid um, I'll try and link to uh, the original what the piano was like before and we're not really sure why they finished the piano off in kind of like fake grain uh, we've actually got a piano in stock that's just come into stock that looks similar to the one that to this piano as it was before it was polished although the one in stock looks even looks better than this one did previously sorry it's a bit flickery because of the, the lights above the piano there's the top of the piano without the flickering light that we got from the, the fluorescent tube. Uh, it's obviously a bit darker than it would look in a house. There's the top of a similar age stein which just come in and you see this, this is what we call faked grain or we call it faked grain anyway and around the sides uh, again it's, doesn't, it's not showing the, the grain like we've got on the, this is a rosewood piano again so it could could be repolished and uh, in fact the, the client who bought the rosewood piano is a 
is a pianist and piano teacher and uh, decided that he wanted to have the piano repolished and I'm really pleased he did. There's the legs on the, the one, this one before it's polished. Well, I'm trying to make a video of this piano as well because it's, it's an exceptionally good instrument. So we've tried to integrate the legs as well as possible. Um, to, this, this is never rosewood veneer on the legs. It has to be uh, made to look as similar as possible and very good. The lyre is all in perfect condition and uh, the fall of the piano, which is what you'll be looking at when you're playing, um, you can see again, beautiful rosewood. And the, this is, a, this is a boxwood inlay, which you often get on Steinways. My favorite really, and the perfect ivory keys. So I'm really pleased with this piano in general. And uh, if you'd like your piano repolished, or if you'd like to buy a piano from us and have, a, have us repolish it, that's possible. Um, there's always a queue of pianos to be repolished, but uh, we try and fit you in. So please let us know, and uh, we'd love to help. So Steinways, Blutners particularly, um, of this age, uh, older Blutners, uh, uh, really the very old pianos are even nicer sometimes. And uh, sorry about the flickering, I can see that's, that's annoying, but um, I don't know if we can improve that because of the light, lighting above it. But uh, you could feast your eyes on this all day long, really. It's such a, such a beautiful piano. Thank you very much for listening.